What's up everybody? There are a lot of great Inside the Mind videos from the best players in Fortnite Zero Build. And then there's me, the casual. <laughs> yeah, that's my mind, so what the heck is going through it when I'm playing solos? Well, besides don't die. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this kind of thing, and uh, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I typically roll with two favorite drop spots. One is Classy Quartz, especially that northwest corner, and funny thing is, we'll be there later. And then this spot here between Rebel's Roost and the Vault is my other favorite spot for marking NPC and the Purple Sniper. I think it's 400 gold, right? Yeah. It's got a couple chests there too. I'm sure many of you have landed here. Um, I also like it because it gives me two options to move to. One downside is that it tends to be out of the first circle a lot. This time around, there was already some action at the Vault when I landed. At least I didn't start it like before. I tried to get too cute on a drop and had to kill the guards to hire the NPC. Whoopsie. Anyways, I wasn't sure if it was a bot or a human because the fighting ended quickly. The bot's gonna die quickly and the human's gonna be in the vault, but it was a bot. After looting the vault, another bot showed up and then another person. And this is where I almost went back to the lobby a couple minutes in. I was prepared to fight, but when I took a shot at that guy's tires, I assumed he was gonna turn around but stop across the road, you know, pull out the sniper with the 4X, stand there and hard scope me, you know, we're gonna have that kind of a fight until one of us breaks shields and then push, but no. He pushed. I tried to get show offy with a close snipe, but missed. I also didn't realize at the time that he'd gotten the water element for the nearby shrine, so he literally just ran inside and assaulted my bot. I was like, what the? <laughs> I just bought her. Are you serious, bro? Oh! So he's inside on the second floor. It's a bad situation to go into. I don't like breaching situations like that. It's very, very iffy. So I'm like, I'm out, but I wasn't giving up. And at least I had gotten most of the loot out of the vault, so he wasn't getting anything either. All right, well, chat, we'll just go get the other one. How about that? Although I think the other one's going to be taken. Oh, no, okay. Which means I have the only one left, which is pretty nice. Things are, uh, you know, they're looking up. We got a vehicle. We got the air element. But I knew my loot wasn't good enough for endgame. That's, I'm running with a, a green uh, shotgun. I'm running with a green SMG. I needed, I needed better. And that's one trick that I like to do when I swap. I shoot the tires out of the old vehicle just in case. So I made my way over to the nearest bunker over in the mountains, expecting to be contested, and there was only a bot. But I had the pinger, so I'm not too worried about it if anyone else comes over. You know, it's a huge advantage in this thing, as you guys know. And I have a fun strat for it as well. I like to be weird and run right out as players trying to use that right hand peak at the top. They usually don't expect me to do that. But I kind of sabotage myself again, if you notice. For some reason, I swapped out my SMG with the blue nemesis. And then without realizing it, I even put the laser mod on the AR. Bruh. I didn't notice that for a long while. Would it come back to haunt me like my ex-wife asking for more alimony? I need more money. So a little bit later, I'm hanging out in a good spot here in zone. Even though there's still 15 people left, pretty confident no one is behind me and everybody's below me somewhere. You know, it's a nice power position. I got a launch pad up there if I need to. You know, I got the car right here. We've got the air mobility. So I'm just trying to get eyes on people. Uh, typically, I do like to do this. I like to hang more backside of zones and try to keep players in front of me as possible. This is, but this, this was a little bit, you know, it's too good to be true there. So I'm like, oh, I'll take that one. But, you know, plans don't always work, but that is the plan. You know, and the key to any plan is just do it. You know, it might work. It might not work, but don't hesitate. Because if you wait, then it probably isn't going to work anyway. And that advice is going to come into play in a little bit. The funny thing is, though, the whole time I'm hanging up here, scouting things out and waiting for the next zone, I'm thinking about that factory down there. I'm like, did I ever drop there? Have I ever been there before? Did I leave the iron on? So now zone has pulled the classy in the bot lake and medallion guy is right behind me. I was thinking that medallion guy was going to kind of corral the rest of the players into classy if they were not there already. So I decide to hoof it around the lake to backside a zone and see where the next zone went. At this point, it's a five tick when it pulled tighter into classy and everybody looks like they're busy fighting each other or looking at each other. No one's really paying attention to what's going on on my end over here. I don't want to use air. I want to stay kind of stealthy. I'm pretty sure I can get to that corner house before the zone closes. And then I go and uh, fire off a sniper shot for no reason. That was smart. It's a real thing, right? Yeah, <laughs> so much for stealth. Uh, I still used the fizz, though, and pulled up at the bush to see what's going on quickly before going to that house. That house? Yeah, that house is in zone. I was ready to be contested, and sure enough, here comes somebody with air. 
I don't think he had visual audio on because I wasn't crouched and I was moving. And he didn't seem to have a clue where I was. Nope, that's my spot, buddy. And it was at this point, too, where I realized I swapped out the Thunderburst. Where's mine? Oh, hey, what are you going to do, you know? So we're at last uh, three players. They're at the big house fighting. I was very tempted to run over and try to finish the last players, especially since I still had the NPC. But I do have backside of zone. I got good cover. I got all good weapons. I'm like, you know what? I'll just take shots at these guys, whatever. We'll just, just see what happens. And then one of the players trying to escape with their life zoomed over my way. Boom, that guy's done. Now we're down to two, and both of them are still at the big house fighting. And then the zone pulls nearby me. I made sure I was reloaded while I decided earlier or late rotate. That's kind of a, a, a thing with me. I tend to forget to reload weapons, so I wanted to make sure I was good to go there. Uh, and it's a tough call on the rotate as well. You know, they're going to be fighting each other for sure. So where is this best spot for me to third party, you know? Do I get in ahead of them? Do I get in behind them? And then my gut's like, just go. You know, the heck with inside the mind. Now it's inside the gut. <laughs> uh, where's zone? Back here. Almost got the snipe there, but it turns out I'm glad I missed. Because then the two Angs fought each other. I think that would have been a 50-50 if I had hit that first guy and then the other Ang had come after me. So I got a nice snipe right here, which I was pretty psyched about. Oh my god, dude. You gotta come to me, bruh. And if, uh, if I waited to rotate, I would have ran right into those guys and been stuck down on the beach like the last guy. Uh, you know, now I have high ground, and then Aang is screwed. He's gotta come to me, and it's 2v1. GG. Where is he? He's right there. Let's go, baby. That's how you hold zone, baby. So there we go, peeps. That's how the casual mind plays Fortnite. On the edge and with an NPC. Let's go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like. Next video coming right up.